Hailey Bieber, previously Hailey Baldwin, is a successful fashion model, media personality, businesswoman, and role model to many people around the world. Despite being the wife of Justin Bieber and raised in a family of fame, she has certainly made a name for herself modeling for many top designers, been featured in Vogue, and has launched her own skincare line. Hailey is known for her unwavering fit and healthy appearance and her dedication to encouraging others to prioritize their well being. So, how does she look this good all the time? Let's find out. I'm gonna live and eat like Hailey Bieber for 24 hours to find out just how healthy she truly is and whether she has unlocked a secret way of living that we all should live by. Welcome to my kitchen. Hailey starts her day with some celery juice and vitamins. Mmm, it's breakfast time. Now, what does Hailey Bieber eat for breakfast? She usually eats eggs, oatmeal, some type of protein or a smoothie. Today's winner is oatmeal. What do you need for oatmeal? Oats. I have some quick oats because I like my oats quick. I'm not sure how much she has or how much you should have. But it actually feels like a lot. Add a bit of liquid. Coconut milk is more fun than regular water. One of the days of people actually drinking milk. That microwave is quite loud. Does this look done? Oh, it's hot. It's still kind of really liquidy. Is oatmeal supposed to be this liquidy? Nope, way too hot. You know what I love? How quick oatmeal is. She tops her oatmeal with some berries and nuts. These strawberries look kind of sad. That's probably enough. Oatmeal, berries, nuts. Oh my goodness, this is impossible. Mm. I need to top it off. Wow, that was a big blob. Finished. What a very quick breakfast recipe. And it actually doesn't look too bad. Last time I made oatmeal, it didn't look good. It certainly looks better than it tastes. I remember why I never eat oatmeal. She eats a relatively clean diet to maintain her look and to fuel her for her busy full life. This should fuel me for my upcoming workout. Time to work out. Just like most other celebrities, one of Hailey's main focuses to work on her healthy lifestyle is exercise. And what she really loves to do is Pilates, specifically hot Pilates. I live in Australia and it is so incredibly hot here all the time. So hot factor taken care of. She goes to a studio called Former Pilates. That doesn't exist here. However, it does online. For me, I can't justify the cost. They do have a seven day free trial. So I jumped on that. I'm going to do one one of their whole body workouts today and really experience what Hailey does. From the second I started, the workout dread consumed me. Pilates is hard. Unlike a regular strength training workout, the discomfort and exhaustion set in immediately. I do not have the hammy strength for this. As someone who works out regularly, this was humbling. Oh my goodness. Pilates is weird, but it's really good for you and really hard. For a whole body workout, it sure incorporated a lot of legs and abs. It was effective nonetheless. I am not usually one to run after endurance exercise because I hate it, so I can't say that I really enjoyed it without lying. Regardless of how great Pilates is, I don't think I'll be doing this regularly. That was incredibly exhausting. Cockatoos, please. Is it worth the money? Am I gonna buy it? No. Should you? Maybe. Give it a go. It's a seven day free trial. Anyway, that's beside the point. I actually feel good, even though <laughs> I am feeling exhausted and sweaty. I'm gonna go have a shower and it won't be long before it's lunchtime. It's lunchtime. What's for lunch? Two words, pizza, toast. Hayley put up a video on TikTok of her making this recipe. I'm gonna do that and have it for lunch. Let's get cooking. Preheat the oven, done. Slice some tomatoes. Drizzle it with lemon juice. Lemon juice on tomato. I'm not sure about that. Olive oil. Drizzle, 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 drizzle. Let it marinate for until I need to use them again. Meanwhile, grill the toast. I don't have like a grill top. Haley used a grill top thing. I don't have that. I'm gonna use a pan. Join me on this side of the kitchen. Got some toast. Need to butter both sides. Free grilling. Now I'm using gluten-free bread because she's mostly gluten-free. Drizzle it in truffle oil, which probably costs an arm and a leg. Ooh, it is strong. That bread looks super soggy. It is heating up in this kitchen. Toast is taking a really long time to toast. Finally done, 20 minutes later. Place toast on a tray I prepared earlier. Top each slice with some burrata. Does anyone know how to, whoa, okay, nope. This is, ooh, it's so squishy. Is this how you, oh, uh, gross. It's supposed to ooze? It says two slices of burrata. I sliced it and it's oozing. Don't get me wrong, it looks tasty. Tomato. Mm -mm. Place in the oven until cheese is melted. Waiting for the cheese to melt. Test topped with some warm pizza sauce. I've got tomato paste, so I'm gonna make my own. This is me just vibing it. Oil, herbs. Now for a bit of parmesan. This is super cheesy. I don't know how I'll go because I rarely eat cheese. Did her toast burn? My toast is burnt on the edge. Pizza sauce, oregano, chili flakes. Can I do both at the same time? Nope, I can't. Pizza toast. I'm very excited to eat it. 
Sure is crispy. This is a very tasty lunch. However, it took 38 minutes. That's at least 30 minutes too long. My days are busy. Her days are probably really busy as well. A little bit more complex and time consuming than I would have liked it to be. As a one-off, it's fun. Maybe on a weekend. You wanna spice things up? It's activity time. I scoured the internet for things that Hayley likes to do for fun. Hayley's been quoted online to say she loves making shorts out of jeans. Found some old jeans. I'm gonna cut them up. Do I have any experience in the area? No, but I've got a pair of shorts that I already own, so maybe I can just use that as a guide. Something, something here. This is really... Do I have a tape measure somewhere? Tape measure. That's the wrong end. I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. Let's cut. These scissors are terrible. Mm. These don't look right. Not bad, not good either. Oh, I'm cutting my carpet. Slightly off. Let's put them on. I actually don't mind this length, except this cut situation is uh, weird. This is the part where I hack at these a little bit too much. They become denim undies that I'll never wear. I'll cry a little bit and, and then never do this again. At this point, I feel like I should just stop. I don't really know how to distress. I've just been picking threads down at the bottom where I cut. I think I'll continue doing this until... Uh, where are the threads on this side? This is what they look like. Now I have a nice pair of shorts that cost me 10 Australian dollars instead of 80. Australian pricing is out of control. I gotta go do some dinner. A lot of time today has been in here. Do I smell? Today's dinner is fish and some grilled veggies slash roasted air fried. Hayley has said she's recently gone mostly pescatarian. It's no meat, only fish. And she said she's been feeling really great doing it. She also really enjoys grilled veggies. My cool peeler has gone MIA. Found it. In theory, this prep is quick, but the cooking time is what's gonna take the longest. I love regular potato. However, it tastes too good that I feel like I'm cheating. Whereas the other two don't have a brown spot like this. Is that okay? Bit of olive oil. Is it bad to inhale olive oil? It's like a smoke machine. I'm gonna chuck these in the air fryer because the air fryer is super noisy. I could grill this on a pan or I'll just grill it. Fish time. All you have to do is just slide the fish on. No one likes plain fish. Two things at once is very challenging for me. Fish seared way beyond perfection. What can you do? Looks like we're ready to serve up. Yes. Cannot forget some salt. This is divine. Look at this. You are looking at it. This is a really simple meal. Very nutritious. Feels necessary after the pizza toast. I just hit my head really hard on the edge of the corner cupboard and I didn't say anything because I was trying to like just be cool and let it slide by, but wow, my head really hurts. Mm. Sometimes all you need is a really simple home cooked meal. It did take 40 minutes to prep though. Probably pretty standard for a dinner meal. According to the internet, she eats three meals a day and doesn't snack. I don't know if that's true. She does her best to avoid sugar and rarely has dessert. I understand because my body doesn't really like sugar either. My skin just breaks out. She tries to consume a lot of water throughout the day, like two bottles, but I've done my best to consume as much water as physically possible at every possible location I could throughout the day because hydration is key. This broccoli is still raw. Love it. What a day. Incredibly wholesome meals. She prioritizes exercise, but man, I feel exhausted. What have I learned? One, meals on average took way too long to make. I don't think it's practical on an everyday basis. Two, pretty wholesome and healthy day overall. However, we all aren't gonna look and live like her. That's just not realistic. I think it could be useful to take some of those elements and apply them to your own life in your own way. Outside of that, good experience. Probably won't do it again. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at amy underscore Leisha or don't. That's it. See you soon. Next time, I'm getting a chef. I can't afford a chef.